Prince George's County is one of the most densely populated counties in the state of Maryland. Um, the city of Laurel is a sovereign municipality from the county. We do dispatch our own police, um, but the two fire departments in, this, in the city are dispatched by the county. Um, our CAD systems do not speak, and that is usually a pretty expensive endeavor to do. So uh, whenever a fire call is dispatched, the, um, the uh, fire stations are notified by radio. The Tandem Emergency Response Platform, TERP as we call it, um, allows us to consume multiple live data feeds, whether it be um, an AVL, which is an automated vehicle location feed, um, in essence the GPS of where your police cars are on the map, to uh, a live CAD feed from different jurisdictions um, dispatch, their fire and police dispatch. Um, all in one map. So uh, it's not just where is the incident on the map, but what are the things that surround that incident that might be pertinent information. So we're taking GIS into analysis and real-time situational awareness. A lot of people will tell you that, you know, the first thing that happens when there's a situation is the plan goes out the window. Uh, in some respects that's true, but uh, when the plan goes out the window, the ability to collect all the data necessary to form an overall uh, picture of what's going on has to be a GIS application. I can't see it happening any other way. The ability for an emergency manager to glance at a, an image and in a few seconds or a minute or so to be able to determine exactly what's going on, um, you know, what's occurred, what's going on, uh, what needs to occur uh, to mitigate the situation. Crime is going to occur, incidents are going to occur, and there has to be some type of situational awareness. The fact that you've got an accountability of units on the scene, you've got live information or real data that's coming through, we can actually respond, assist with a perimeter, assist with lookouts, or provide, us, provide backup as needed. And again, it's, it's real time. The time that I've been active in law enforcement, the changes have been unbelievable. We are, if nothing else, we are technology driven now. We are very technology dependent. We have uh, mobile field reporting where they can write reports in the cars and electronically transmit them. We have auto vehicle locator, which is GPS driven. Again, that, that's a reduction on response times. Technology is just, it, it is going to be a front runner in police work. We do have several different versions of TERP that we're developing for different purposes, uh, since one view is not the best for everyone. We're working on some crime analysis tools for TERP analytics, allowing us to track vehicle theft and vehicle drop-off points, uh, doing correlations between those, doing essential crime tracking functionality, all of which would be generated on the fly and could incorporate live data overlaid on top of it. Data sharing is extremely critical, um, not only in TERP functions, but uh, data sharing in um, uh, intelligence. Uh, all of that comes into play when we're trying to address the needs of uh, the businesses and, and citizens in our respective response areas. Every disaster, every crime, every fire has an XY coordinate, and that starts in one local jurisdiction. And so it only makes sense that the data and the push to do these types of applications and this type of information sharing, it should come from, from us at the local level. And we're really the ones that can go to our neighbors and you know elbow them and say, hey, can we share this information with you? And then they go to their neighbor and do that, and it's this bleeding effect. Um, as opposed to having someone maybe at a higher level come in and say, we've developed this application for you um, that you had no input on, and we now want your data. <laughs> and maybe we'll give you access to it, and maybe you won't. There might be other fields that uh, allow more for that enterprise, that larger level um, development cycle, but in public safety, um, it really does have to start at the local level. So I do think that's why it's worked.